Banjo Thon 2013. Dr. David Foster. Banjo Doctor from the Hangout. Dave, tell us about the Granada that you have, um, and then uh, take us through a song or two. Okay. Well, this banjo came has gone from one coast to the other. It uh, started out in South Carolina and was sold to a guy in California. It's 9557-17, and then it came back to me. And one of the rings that I was able to pick up on some of my deals and everything. We right. have, we have a, a nickel flat ring in it now. Yes. It had already been cut and converted by Steve Hubert uh, several years ago, one of his early conversions. Yes. And so uh, when I got it back, I took that ring out, put this ring in, and pretty much everything else is the same. Uh, the Frank Neat neck uh, was a little chunky for me. Frank's necks vary yeah. depending right. on who orders what. And yeah. So the particular order, the guy wanted more of a Sonny Osborne kind of thing, which was just fine. But uh, uh, we took the neck and had it profiled more like the uh, 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 the banjo that uh, Greg Ernest, I mean, uh, Owal has. Yes. Well, I yeah. can't think of the, the Wade Maynard. Yeah, the Wade Maynard. Maynard. Right. And Which isn't a ball bat size right, right. Right. at so, all. So uh, everything, we've got it back together now. And it's, it's a lot of fun to play. Yeah. What you going to play? Uh, let's do... Uh, Fireball, mate. slower stuff it just seems to right. it, it, it comes out so any of that those kind of licks it yes. just I right. fight with tuning anyway like every banjo player does yeah, right. and it just seems easier on this banjo yeah. I don't know what it is well, I'm going to turn the camera off and then I'm going to put, put my picks on this thing there you and go. see what we think. Great. And sorry for the video, but somebody has cranked up an electric bass Next door. at a banjo get-together. <laughs> I don't understand, but here we go. Never fails. <laughs> <laughs> 